welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make this adorable card and as you can see it does have a 3d element to it so i'm taking a standard six by four inch card base some grease through paper which i'm going to be using as tracing paper and then i also hand drew some images on some scrap paper and this was one of the designs i came up with so i'm basically going to trace the hand drawn one onto some grease through paper so I can transfer it to my card base. Um, this is the easiest way I found. Um, so here I am. I'm just going to trace this onto the card itself. Um, so I actually made an Instagram story the other day. Um, asking people whether or not they think I should um, do some more hand-drawn cards. And the majority of people on my Instagram didn't necessarily want that. They wanted more stamped images. And I can kind of see where they're coming from from that. Because obviously... With hand drawn, you can't really make the same thing, um, unless you're really good at drawing and stuff. Um, I'm not really great at drawing, but some days I just get bored and this is what I do. I, I make things up in my head. Um, but basically, I did hand draw the bow, 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 the hair bow, um, but I didn't like how it turned out. So I ended up erasing that and then I remembered I actually have a die to make a bow. So I ended up using that, but I used that one that I drew as a like a guide before I glued it down and everything. So don't know what this card is going to be for, honestly. Um, like I said, I just got a little bit bored one day and, you know, the amount of stamps I actually have in my craft room is ridiculous. Like I have so many stamps that I get overwhelmed and don't necessarily always know what to use. Um, what kind of card I want to make so I actually do have an app on my um, tablet where I put in a lot of different options and themes and stuff and then I can just get the, the app to randomly generate an answer and it gives me the card that I need to make um, but yeah I just thought this was a super cute card and I was gonna try and make the same thing but more of a like a boyish card um, but if I did that, then I would kind of lose the element of the envelope, and I didn't really want to do that. So, anyways, you could also make this an interactive card if you wanted to, by adding like um, an envelope which opens up, so you could like put a gift card or something in there, and I just think it's a great um, little thing that you could add. So as you can see, that grease through paper works a treat. Um, so when I was at school, we used to use tracing paper all the time in maths. And I used to always think like, you know, what makes tracing paper able to trace? I think the only downfall is that once you trace it, everything is in the opposite direction. So like if I put, like, say if I drew, a, um, let's say if I drew like a bumblebee or something and I had him facing towards the right, if I trace that, it'll become out as on the left. So it is kind of like a mixed match sometimes but anyways I'm just going over all my pencil marks with a memento jewel marker um scan has completed sorry about that my computer needs to be updated and it was just telling me um but yeah I love how this card turned out in the end um so I'm gonna insert some music for me finishing this off and then also coloring it in I will come back in and talk to you guys when I start to bring in the additional elements for the herbo and all of that. So until then, I will see you in a sec.
once I finish colouring, I'm bringing in my little heart die from my nesting ones that I got from the works. Um, I couldn't link those, but I managed to find some very similar to it, so. Then I'm taking the bow from the set from Crafter's Companion, which is the magic of Christmas. It's a coordinating die to go with the stamps, and it also is part of the Gemini collection as well. So I'm using the same pink that I used for the girl's shoes, for the her bow and the heart. And I'm just going to use my Tonic Studio glue to adhere the, everything down. Um, I was going to prop it up with some foam tape, um, but I didn't necessarily want to add too much desert. I can't get my words out today. Dimension, because I want this bow to pop. So as you can see, it's just the perfect size. I just think it is so adorable. Like, oh, I would love it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to adhere that down with, again, using my Tonic Studios. Um, I'm having an issue with my Tonic Studios every now and again, so I forget sometimes to store it upside down, so it just becomes a lot harder for me to actually adhere anything with it. Um, but yeah, I love the dimension this bow gives it. Um, so you could probably make this a couple of times and add different coloured bows. And So originally my idea was to actually add um, a bow tie for the male version of the card, but like I said, to do that I would have to get rid of the envelope or make the envelope smaller and I didn't really want to do that you know I wanted it to have a certain pop so as you can see you can see the pencil marks so I'm just going to cover those up but eventually I do actually erase them um because when I took my photos you could still see it and I didn't really want that look so I'm going to be using a stamp as well to make sure this card has a great sentiment I'm using a pokey tool just to um, lift up the bow itself um, so I'm placing it in between where a bow would loop just to give it that extra height and dimension um, but the sentiments I ended up using was from the friend stamp by Little Inkers um, so I used the hello there from that set as well as the big bold friend and I just stamped that using my tuxedo black ink I love the size of the friend stamp I do wish they have a coordinating die for this you know, maybe they did and I just couldn't find it, but, you know, I definitely think it would be, like, a a great advantage so you could have this partially, like, die cut. So that's what it's going to look like. And then I bring in my Spectrum No Sparkle Pen and White Gel Pen to add some little details to the teddy bear and envelope. I also just love adding sparkles to my cards. It's just something, you know, I love doing. Um... I added vintage rose embellishments from Little Things by Lucy's um, and actually when I filmed this um, it was the 30th of March and I actually just recently placed an order with Lucy again um, so make sure you go check out her Instagram because every now and then she has a sale on um, so like yesterday she had this quick flash sale which actually ends on the 31st of March um, so obviously when this video goes up that sale would have ended um, but it's definitely something to go and check out. So I was thinking of adding glossy accents to the teddy bear's nose, but I ended up going against it because I didn't want to take away from the bow dynamic. Um, but yeah, that is it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me over on my social media and make sure you check out Little Things by Lucy's. And until the next video, guys, stay safe and happy crafting.